thank you. I will take this opportunity to inform you uh, something about the cultural policies of Kotor and what has been happening there. Actually, the, the right date to start is the 15 uh, April of uh, 1979, when we, have, uh, when we had a catastrophic earthquake which uh, completely damaged a great deal of the uh, Montenegrin littorial area, including the city of Kotor. Uh, the old 19s actually went in a restoration of the of the uh, Kotor and the area of Kotor, and that's why if we are speaking about the cultural policies in Kotor, uh, uh, we <clears throat> first think of the preserving of the cultural heritage of Kotor and the area. Uh, because of this earthquake, uh, this area was put uh, on the list of the UNESCO uh, heritage sites, and uh, the whole restoration actually was finished uh, in the uh, year 2000 uh, because the, the, the most important monument of the Kotor, the Kotor Cathedral, was finally restored uh, in the uh, year 2000. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we, in, in the 90s, uh, I believe you are all very familiar with what was been happening in the Balkan area, and, uh, and we, we may say that uh, that era was uh, the, the time of stagnation, although we have to say that the Kotor was not directly affected by the war. And uh, at the beginning of the 21st century, uh, the political situation has been settled down and uh, uh, there open uh, some uh, possibilities and some threats. I will start first with the threats. Uh, actually, uh, uh, at the beginning of the 2000, uh, until the 2009, uh, the real estate industry uh, exploded in our area. A lot of rich people, mostly from Russia, United Kingdom and uh, Ireland, came and uh, buy a lot of real estate. And as a consequence, uh, uh, the, a lot of new constructions did appear. Uh, that is a really a great problem, because one of the main reasons why Kotor was included in the uh, World Heritage List was actually the harmonious relation between the traditional architecture and the nature. Kotor is uh, the most southern fjord uh, and one of the kind of, on the Mediterranean. And these new constructions are producing uh, great damage to, the, to the, uh, the way how the bay now look like. And uh, I must say, all of a sudden, uh, Deux Ex Machina world economic crisis actually helped us to prevent <laughs> the events. But actually, the, the war has not been won, only one battle. This is going to slow down the process, but uh, I think that the government of Montenegro should uh, really pay attention on this problem because uh, we are in danger to be removed, probably, from, from the list of the World Heritage side if this continues. Uh, another opportunity is uh, that uh, Kotor became an inevitable harbor in a cruising ship routes uh, to the uh, eastern Mediterranean, which means that we have a lot of tourists during the during the summer and also during the spring and autumn, and this uh, tourists, uh, the 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 presence of so much tourists will actually bring some more uh, perspectives in relationship how to uh, economically use our cultural heritage and and uh, vice versa. Uh, the other thing that I would also um, uh, like to stress uh, about uh, cultural policies is actually uh, emerging of a lot of fest cultural festivals. Uh, we, don't, we don't want only to be concentrated on, on a cultural heritage, which is probably the most important, but the, the, the manifestations are important as well. And now we have one uh, very promising uh, um, cultural festival called Kotor Art. Actually, it has a couple of manifestations uh, within it. Uh, the most prominent are music festival uh, called Dom Branco Days of Music. And uh, the other one is um, a, a theater festival for children. Both of these festivals exist almost 20 years and they have some tradition and uh, they have also some regional re reputation. We believe that they will expand. Uh, 
Uh, at the end, I also want to say that uh, the one of the most uh, one very precious precious resource about the, the the culture of Kotor are the presence of a lot of organizations, NGOs, and and, and traditional organizations who works in in Kotor. I will mention uh, on this occasion only three. The oldest one, which is believed to be old uh, 1,200 years, it is the so-called uh, Bokalian Navy. It is the, uh, its origin is r a religious one. It is the confraternitas, fraternity of the of the seamen. Uh, <clears throat> despite my local patriotism, I'm not exactly sure if they are old 1,200 years. But uh, uh, the, the first preserved statute of this organization is from the 15th century, so even that makes them quite old. Uh, this organization now is a purely memorial. It, 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 had, it, it does have only memorial uh, services, and uh, the, they are keeping the memory of the golden era of, of, of uh, nautical uh, um, times of, of, of Kotor. And uh, the second one, uh, and, and they are purely in a cultural heritage field. Uh, the second one I want to mention is a little bit younger. It is uh, um, Serbian Choir Unity called Unity, it is 170 year old. And if you ask them, they would say that they are also cultural heritage, but they regularly perform concerts all over the Europe uh, and on their repertoire are also a modern contemporary music as well. So they belong to the heritage, but they are also producing uh, a, a music and concerts uh, which, is, which is quite modern. And uh, the third organization I would, uh, I would uh, mention uh, is quite young and it is Expeditio. And not only Expeditio, a lot of other NGOs which are actually uh, doing in the field of the cultural heritage. Uh, Expeditio is probably the most prominent one at, at the moment and, and, uh, and a lot of other organizations who are working in this field uh, will if they need help, they will probably come to Expeditio to get some help. So all these things are present in Kotor, and uh, as um, Tanya, our director, uh, mentioned uh, last evening, uh, the last year our government uh, this, uh, fi finally uh, made a st on a national level uh, cultural strategy. Uh, a lot of people are not actually very satisfied with this uh, strategy, but uh, nevertheless, uh, one of the consequences um, of this uh, national strategy is actually uh, imposing each city to, to make its own cultural strategy. And as a F and, and as a and as a an, uh, consequence of uh, collaboration with the Sostenuto project, we have actually started to initiate it to make uh, three uh, cultural strategies for the three cities in Montenegro: uh, the city of Kotor, city of Tivat, and the city of Herceg Novi. Uh, these um, cultural strategies are in now in in a final draft form and we expect soon that the municipalities will actually take a part of these documents as their official cultural strategies. Thank you.